The uh, stepper component <coughs> is probably something you've seen. It's a fairly common use case where we have a flow that involves a number of steps, <coughs> and the user needs to proceed through those, um, usually sequentially. And generally, we may want to support um, moving forward and backwards through the flow. Uh, so again, this is a set of low-level utilities that um, that you can use to, to build your own version of this. There is a version that is included in um, material design. Um, I don't have a good example of this. This is one of the, the components where the documentation is, is really not very great yet. So I recommend if you're building this, this kind of thing to take a look at the material design implementation. I think it provides probably the best um, example of how to use all of this stuff. Generally, and we'll look at the, you know, the components that are part of this module, but um, it provides a number of things to define the header and the content for each step, um, managing you know, where you are in the flow. And, um, typically, you'll take those things and subclass them and build your own implementations. So again, this thing, you know, you would fill in your name, you can go forward, uh, you can go back. <clears throat> so let's look at some of those pieces. So again, it just, um, some of the things that it does, uh, it, may, it keeps track of uh, which step is active, <clears throat> handles things like keyboard interaction, and then provides the API for advancing or rewinding the, the workflow. Uh, there's generally two, two approaches. And one would be to use a single form for the entire stepper. Um, probably a fairly simple workflow um, would be appropriate for a single form. Uh, if you've got a more complex um, flow or your forms involve more data, you can also use a a form for each individual step. All right, so I guess that's that's all I put in there. Um, you know, just briefly looking at the their documentation, um, they provide the uh, directives, and again, typically these would be subclassed in your um, implementation. So things like the the um, step, which represents um, an atomic step. The, uh, there's also a service um, that provides an API. Uh, I believe. Uh, yeah, sorry. They, um, so they've just updated this. The uh, material um, stepper. Um, I believe there's another service. This one in particular is for uh, handling internationalization. 